thought we had a really good practice yesterday, highly spirited, but you know, we came back back to back with padded practices and uh, sometimes that happens. You know, it wasn't a horrible practice, but it wasn't like yesterday. What were you encouraged by yesterday specifically? I just loved our energy. You know, I just love where our team, their mentality. I mean, we got tough, resilient kids that go through a lot here. And so I was just pleased with everything that's gone on that they put that behind and press forward, get ready for a really good uh, Houston team. And I just like the way we approached practice yesterday, just our mentality, our energy, our effort, just everything. You guys have been saying two things a lot. It's one, that it's a long season, you have a lot of season left, and to take it kind of one piece at a time. How do you find the balance between, okay, remember, you got to keep healthy, you got to do all the right things so that you do the right things in December, too, and focus on this week? No, that's a great question. And we just, you know, as a staff, you look at what we're doing. You know, we've had some mistakes, continue to have mistakes. So we look at ourselves first, is it too complicated? Uh, are we teaching it right? Or we have the right guys in there? Why can't they pick it up? You know, because there are things that normally we don't do. Um, we've been good in the past of not beating ourselves, and there's too much of that of us beating ourselves. And so that's what we looked at, just making sure from an assignment standpoint that we're cleaner that way. Because even when we're cleaner that way and do what we're supposed to, sometimes we still can't beat people. Mm -hmm. But if we don't go to the right person or don't go into tail motion or don't get our eyes right, we have no chance. So just trying to clean that up, but more than anything, ever looking at ourselves, how can we improve as coaches and helping our players? And you've been asked about Ed Oliver a lot this week so far, and, and I think it was you and Jasper who mentioned that you guys do have so, or you faced nose guards like that before. You have plans and everything like that. Do you mention his name to the players at all? Is it like this is who we're watching out for? This is what we're doing. Oh before? yeah, they know him. Oh yeah, they know. <laughs> we've <laughs> played this. You know, we've played him a couple times. and know yeah. how good he is, and so um, we don't have to mention anything to him. They. They know how good number 10 is, and 52 is a good player too, but his just his effort level is so unique. Ava, we, I've never seen a nose guard. Sometimes you see a linebacker or a safety play with that mm -hmm. kind of effort, but I've never seen a nose guard play like that, relentlessly play after play. It's, it's amazing. Have you been happy with the offense's focus this week? Better. Better? Better, and I thought we played better in spurts last week. We didn't complete mm -hmm. it, and so that's just to go. Hopefully we can have a complete game. I thought we played maybe two and a half quarters last week. Okay. So maybe if we can, you know, just continue to play a full game. And we're going to have to, to beat these guys. I mean, we're going to have to play a complete game. We're going to have to play Navy football, take care of the ball, don't beat ourselves. And it's like I tell guys, even if we do that, it may not be good enough. But if we don't play Navy football, it'll be a long day for us. You said the emphasis last week was on physicality. We saw why on Saturday, obviously. Those dudes were big. Is there a singular emphasis this week? Um, execution on offense and getting ready for their tempo um, defensively. Tempo, okay. You know, just uh, they go really, really fast. Uh, and so it's hard to simulate that. You know, so we try to do our best to get ready for their tempo on offense because that's kind of what they do to people. They just go at a, a high pace, volume, and it gets you to miss a line. They get your guys, players that uh, aren't uh, communicating properly or tired. And so we just got to make sure that that doesn't happen. We're, we're, you know, we're in good shape. We're a team that's always been in good shape, but we just got to make sure that we clean up our game operation and get ready for them. You, you talked about focus and making sure everyone was, you know, keeping in their heads. How much of that do you have to do during the week with the players and say, make sure you guys are taking it one game at a time, make sure we're focused on Houston? Does everybody kind of know at this point? Uh, at this point, we just do it one rep at a time, one practice at a time. You know, not overlooking things means being detailed every day. So. We get everybody to look at the one thing that they're doing today, the one practice, the one rep, and that's how we keep it pushing. How important is that right now when, when you do have, you know, looking down the schedule, a lot of really good teams coming up and you guys are coming off of a losing streak. Is that, does that take on more importance at all? No, we realize every week is new and really ex it excites us because we know we're going to get better as the progression goes and we're going to keep facing better competition. So as we keep getting better, we look to compare ourselves to the better teams. So. Knowing that we got that on the back end, we focus on one thing at a time. If we focus on, on the front, uh, opponent in front of us, it allows us, you know, to give us the best chance to win every week. So that's how we take it. Did you have a message for the guys after the game Saturday? Uh, do you usually talk to them? I'm not really sure what captains do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm more of an in-the-moment type of person. So if I feel like guys are straying away or not focused or not, like, on point as far as our objective, then I'll step in, just like I said last time. But... Uh, our guys are strong, we're resilient, and you know we're battle-tested. A lot of guys have been here and seen the things that we have seen before and, and been through adversity before, so it's not anything new to us, especially going here. So at that point, you know, I just take it day by day and moment by moment, 
you know, our guys feel like we're really getting after it in practice today. We're excited to play this this conference game, you know, this rivalry game now that's building. So all our attention is focused on, you know, looking forward. We look back, we learn from the mistake, and then we keep it pushing. Okay, so how do you think practice went this week? Coach was talking about yesterday was really high energy. You said you liked what you saw today. If you're one of the guys who's out there kind of snapping at people a little <laughs> bit, did you have to snap a lot? I mean, yeah, I just want, you know, <laughs> we want guys to respond when adversity comes and when the pressure is on. So to practice that best, you got to do it in practice. You know, you got to be intense. You got to treat every rep like it's your game rep. So by the time it comes Saturday, it's either second nature or you're doing it at 100%. When you guys go up against a, a defense like Houston's that has, you know, that star player and they're All-American and everything like that, is there any pride in saying, obviously since you're not on the other side of the ball from them, but we want our defense to be better, we want our defense <laughs> to be the one they're talking about at the end? I mean, we're not comparing ourselves to the other defenses. We're comparing ourselves to their offenses. You know, we got high-profile offenses all over the conference. So every week we're looking to measure up ourselves and see what we can do compared to the other teams that already played them. So our game and our goals are focused toward their offense. They, we know they have a good defense going in, but defense is going to win that game. So we can't focus on theirs. We've got to focus on ours. Uh, it's, it's been pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm progressing a lot. I uh, played in the game last week, so um, it's starting to feel a lot better this week. And, uh, you know, we're making strides a 100%. So. When you get in the game last week, like you did, do you have to do any extra recovery after just to make sure that your body reacts the right way after being on uh, the field? Yeah, uh, Jim, our, our um, training room, you know, I'm in there every Sunday. Uh, a lot of guys are, and, you know, he's on, I'm on a program with him, so I just see him every day, and he tells me what to do, and he's, he gets it right, so. <laughs> okay. Who do you lean on? Obviously, it's your senior season. You've been injured before. It really stinks to be injured again. Who do you lean on to make, make sure your mind's in the right place throughout this? I mean, I can lean on like anyone in the locker room, any anyone of the kids. I mean, especially, um, you know, one of my, my best friends, uh, Travis, he got in and in the same game, he tore his ACL, so he's out for the season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I talked to him and, you know, how he, you know, wishes he could come back. So I'm just grateful that I, I was able to come back from injury. And, uh, you know, so that's part of it. You guys, obviously, since last season, have, or I guess the team as a whole, is used to not quite knowing who's going to play quarterback, or at least we're not used to not knowing who's going to play quarterback. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this offense is kind of uniquely suited to respond to who's ever out there in the moment and, and deal with all of that stuff. I think Garrett said he wasn't he wasn't sure until Thursday last week. Right. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, you know, all three quarterbacks, we've gotten a lot of reps. So, you know, we're familiar with the offense uh, and with, like, the centers and the linemen. They all know, you know, um, each each of us very well, like, our play style. So, you know, it's not that big of a change. Um, you know, we're, we're all pretty comfortable. Okay. It looks like a heavy duty brace. Is it for stabilizing? Or you want to yeah, just stabilizing. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing. I mean, just like it helps it from like bending in an hour. So. Okay. What happened in the SMU game? You just got rolled up on in the back? Yeah, yeah. It was like a, it's an MCL like sprain. Okay.